Welcome to a basic video on um, Seesaw and how to get started. So today in this little video, we're just going to have a look at creating a teacher account, how to create a class, um, how to add students and how to then allow them to log on and how to connect their parents. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't already is go to Seesaw and create a Seesaw account. Um, once you go onto Seesaw, it will come up with a page like this. And you're going to want to click on I'm a teacher and then you're just going to want to add your details, your email and the school that you're linked to. So William Carey is already in there. So once you type it into the school, it will go straight to that. And that's what you do. Um, if you already have a Seesaw account like I do um, and you're going to create a new, um, a new class, you're just going to go into your name at the top of your class and you're going to add new class. And for those of you who are new to Seesaw, once you've um, added all your details, this is what's going to come up as well. And you're going to add the name of your class. Um, so I'm just going to write test class for this purposes of this video. Um, I will normally also add the year just so I remember what year it is. And then you're going to choose your grade um, just off what's available here. Now the grade just allows you later when you get to do certain things through Seesaw just to give you a little bit easier functionality for the grade. So I'm a U1 teacher so I'm going to click first and then I'm going to click the tick button to submit and then it just takes a while and it's going to create my class. So once it's created my class, the first thing I kind of want to do is I want to add students. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom here and click add student. Now, when we add students, it does come up with the option of using a Google account or an email address. Um, so for you one, we often say no because the QR code in our class is a lot better. And I know that some of the classes in three to six will also do this. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier. It's just a general QR code or a um, code that they have to put in. Um, just makes it easier for little ones. But um, for older kids, I would probably recommend using their Google sign in as it would just work a little bit better. Um, then it will come up with another question just saying, is it a shared device or is it one on one? So um, with three to six bringing their own devices and above, I would suggest one to one. But for the little kids, um, we have shared devices. So I'm going to click shared devices. Now you can add a student one at a time. Um, that's a little bit tedious. So I would just click on paste a list of student names. Um, you just need to make sure that um, the students are one line per student, as it says at the top here. I often will go to Edumate and get my class list ready anyway. Um, so I'm just going to pull a class list really quickly and then I'm just going to paste it. Now I would often, for example, if I'm going to actually put a student's name in, I would write their first name and then their initial at the end instead of their full name, just um, privacy wise, it just keeps it a little bit um, cleaner, I guess. So I'm just going to do six students, one per line, and then I'm just going to click tick. Um, you can keep adding students, but we don't want to. I'm going to have six students. Now, once we've done that, um, it will come up here with um, how we want to use Seesaw. So we're ready to use Seesaw with students. Um, and so what we want to do is then create um, a QR code. So what we're going to do is um, print a student sign in poster and that's just going to load. And as it comes up, it will give you the details of what you need to do. The main priority is that this isn't to be shared with parents um, or anything like that. So often if I have parents come and visit my classroom or open days or anything like that, I just cover this code for privacy reasons. Um, it's not to be shared on um, social media because media because this allows everyone to access the um, portfolio of your whole class instead of individually. Um, it just allows teachers to always be in control of this. Um, so just don't share it. Um, and it actually has a list of how to get your kids to sign on. Um, so this is just their sign on. Um, they will need the class app, not the parent app. There's a class app and there's a parent app. We need the class app on our iPads, which is already on William Carey iPads already. And then this is their QR code. So I often just put this on my whiteboard at the front. Um, and when we're using it, they click on I'm a student 
um, take a picture of the QR code, I let it register, and it just automatically signs us into our um, student code. So once we've done that, we just um, get out of that. Now, what you're going to want to do is then all your students are now sitting down here. They have a little emoji that's linked to their name, um, which is really helpful. So we've got our login for our class. Um, we've added our students. We've created our class. Um, the first thing now is that we want our parents to be also be able to connect to our class. So that is done by clicking the plus family button down here. So if we click that and so we want to turn on family access. And so what we can do is we can either put in the a student mobile number, which we really don't want to do. Um, more than anything is we want to print invites or share an invite link. Um, for the older kids, you might want to share an invite link through um, their email to their parents, but then you're going to have to go and educate and find all those. I find printing the invites and using English, of course, um, a little bit more easier just because it has everything on there for the parents that they need. So it gives you a uh, detailed of teacher instructions and then some frequently asked questions. And then if you have a look here, it says students one family invite. And this is their individual QR code that will link to Seesaw. And it actually tells us how to download it from your smartphone and how to use it on the computer. So it's got both of the instructions there for your parents. Now, um, the QR codes are individual to those students and they can only see what that student has done. So, for example, students one family will not be able to see the work that students two's family will be able to see. They're only allowable to do that. It does have your name on it um, as well and it has the class. Um, so this is what is sent home. And once the parents activate that, um, you actually have to approve them. So if we just go back to our Seesaw page. So we've done that. We just X out of that because we've invited them. So the way that that will come up to say that your parents have been connected is if you go to the little wrench over here. So the wrench is literally all the settings for your class. It has nothing to do with your personal account. It's all the account of your class. So you're just going to click on that and it's managed. Teachers are here. There's lots of different stuff. We'll go through a little bit more, but we're going to go down to families. So pending family approvals. This is where you're going to get kind of like a red um, announcement dot to say you've got some families sitting there. So at the moment, there's no families pending because I haven't sent them out. But as soon as a family member connects, that's going to come up and you just need to check through Edumate that that is the correct parent connected to your child um, and check that there's no um, privacy issues with that. Um, so they need to be on Edumate for them to be connected to this. They can't let aunts and uncles and cousins and lots of those people connect. So you have control over that as the teacher and it's your job to make sure the privacy of your students are upheld. So that's how we go to pending um, approvals for our um, family. And I'll talk a little bit more about um, families as well. So you can also go and invite families. So um, you can always go back this way as well. So often if I have a family member that hasn't connected after a week or so, I'll just print another invite and send it or I'll also send it to them in a link to an email and generally they um, connect very quickly. So you're gonna have all your students down the side that we've added. And this is the teacher um, portal. So obviously my name is up there and I have two classes. Um, so just remembering that the wrench means that it's all the settings for your class. It's no none of the settings for you as a personal teacher. So just remember that the first thing you've got to do is create a teacher account, create a class, add your students, print off their login and your classroom login QR codes, um, send those home to the parents that the family invites and um, make sure you approve those parents as they come in. Just be checking it in the first couple of weeks that you sent it home and that just makes sure that the privacy with we're making sure the privacy of our students are upheld, but also check with Edumate if you're not sure if that's the right parent 
for the right student before you push approve. Um, and yeah, um, I'll talk a little bit more about um, all the functionalities of the wrench and different things in the next video. So enjoy um, answering the questions.